43 right now on your Wednesday morning as we move more and more into a digital world. It is so important to keep up with the career trends. Joining us this morning to talk more about this is business author Dr. Tracy Wineland. Good morning. Good morning. Our topic this morning is career selfie. That is what we're talking about. And let's explain exactly what you mean by that. Sure. I saw a statistic published by Google that we actually take 93 million selfies per day on our Androids. Uh, I believe it. Yeah, probably even more here because of tourism. And I said, how much time do we really spend on our careers? And when I was looking for a statistic, I found an hour and a half a year. A year? A year. So especially with people just out of college. So I said, why are we spending so much time self-reflecting on our cameras and not enough time in our careers? Isn't that funny, though? It is the millennials that have really brought the selfies into our day and age. I have a, a girl, a friend who just graduated college and for Christmas I'm buying her one of those selfie sticks because yes. she is the queen of selfies. Yes. And you're right, she should be looking more at her career right now. Just a little bit. I think so. You're going to be, she's probably going to live to 100 plus, working 50 or 60 years. We have to start planning our careers. So what are some of the tips that we should do? I know you wrote a blog about this. I did. I, had, I gave 10 tips in a digital world. The first one is be an entrepreneurial employee. It's very important for you to understand that contribution is key in firms today because we're looking for people to promote and we're looking for people who are showing leadership at a younger age. So remember that. Number two is be a marketable employee. If you got in an elevator with your CEO and she looked at you and said, what do you do? And you're riding up five floors, could you answer that question? Because you know the second question is, where do you see yourself in a year? So I think people need to start thinking about being marketable. And always have those answers in the back of your head. Don't be put on the spot. Elevator pitch. <laughs> Very important. 30 seconds. What do you do? Where do you want to go? And how do you contribute to the firm? Okay, what's one more that you can point out? One more is really about your positive brand. My impression when I walk into a hotel, a restaurant, a resort is not the general manager who I meet, who I really don't meet. It's the reservationist. It's the person in the restaurant. It's the person at the front desk. So the brand of the firm is all about the positive brand of the employee. So remember that, and also remember, I always will Google you if I'm interviewing you. Speaking of Googling, uh, and I know we only have about 10 more seconds left, what do you say about social media? Because when you're Googled, you, your Facebook pops up, your Twitter, your Instagram. Clean it up, make sure it's positive, because every hiring manager and HR executive will Google you before they hire you. Dr. Tracy Weiland, I've, I've talked to you for maybe five minutes this morning, and I've learned so much. She has a blog about this with those 10 tips. Um, and it, all you have to do is put her name in Google. Speaking of Google, yes. TracyWeiland.com, and you can find that information right there. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate